What is up and good morning everyone. Welcome back to the Resurrected Diesel channel. I apologize. I have been letting you guys down on these videos. I have been busy doing a bunch of bullshit. Um, and I have not been staying up to date pretty much. Uh, we had a lot of stuff going on. We worked on that red Ford for a little bit. So we kind of took a break from the mile high truck. Um, I forgot my camera, a few things. We got some parts here, which you can probably tell by the title, but without further ado, we have picked up the powder coated axles for the mile high Duramax. So we'll just, we'll show you real quick. The camera probably does no justice along with the lighting in here. But gosh dang, look at these things. Mm, mm, mm. All right, so as you can see, we started putting the bushings back in here, um, getting them all set. So I think the goal for today is to get the rest of the bushings pressed in. And uh, we had to make a little custom tool for this. It's right over here, uh, just kind of some, plates and some pieces to squeeze them through and all that good stuff. Uh, it's working, but we're gonna get the rest of these pressed in and probably get these set back under the truck uh, so I can finish building the truck, you know? Uh, probably get the shocks, which we have all the coilovers on, uh, with no springs, obviously. We'll get them set in here. Uh, we also finished this up a little bit, as you can see. Uh, we extended it out to plate the rest of the frame. Got it all bolted in. It's not like tight tight or have lock nuts on it. We just got it bolted in for when it goes to paint and all that stuff. So the other side, I believe we're almost done. We just have finished throwing some bolts in it. If it'll even show you. But pretty much everything else is bolted in. Sorry, I'll turn the light on here in a minute when we're working over here. Front's ready. So all that's left really that we have to do is build the steering and build the pan hard bars and the uh, um, the mounts for them and the cross member for the rear. And this thing will be ready to roll out. So maybe by the end of the week, we have to get the axles rebuilt, but that's happening next weekend in like five days from now. So if we can get everything pretty much built to that point that we just need to rebuild them, then we're pretty much sitting pretty and this thing will maybe come out next week. So, it's definitely going to be a crazy ride, and then it's off to paint and body work, so, yeah. It's, uh, it's getting there, slowly but surely. So, we have the front and rear axle set under the truck after pushing in those bushings. Um, the back I have set up on jack stands with the coilovers, or the shocks at least. The, not the springs, anyways. In the truck we need to get some measurements finish some last stuff but it is all in there man do these look good so basically what we're waiting on today um, I'm gonna jack this up here in a minute I'm gonna put the coilovers in to make sure they all fit and we need to make our pan hard bars for both front and rear from here over and then also we need to make our steering and everything so basically for today I'm gonna get this jacked up set on some jack stands and then make some steering and uh, well start planning out the steering get the knuckles on and everything and see what we can make happen we might need to order some stuff but anyways we have them both under the truck again bolted on not fully but we're gonna jack this up now and get it set where we need it kind of centered and everything on both of them kind of center them that way we can take proper measurements I still have to make a cross member that comes across here from right down here to there um, the reason we have to get the front in is because we need to know our steering before we can um, you know before we can set the rest of it to eliminate bump steer so it's kind of a lot that goes into it basically we're gonna make our drag link from our pitman arm to our knuckle and then once we find the length and the degree of that bar we can then make our pan hard bar to match. So you don't need to do it for the rear, but I'm trying to make it all like look perfect. So um, once we have our pan hard bar for the front made, then we'll make our one for the back and then the truck should be able to sit on its own weight. 
All right guys, so we left off getting the axles under the truck. We got this steering knuckle put on, and as you can see, we got the pan hard bar, which this one's not tacked in up yet. They're not built yet or welded or anything, but um, I actually had to bend this one in order to get our heim joint angles okay, which is fine. Um, basically, two points of pivot, so technically both heim joints. Uh, you could technically do whatever you want in here, and it'll never change the degree or angle of steering or anything uh, unless you like made the bar shorter or anything so as long as you made it to length the length you need from start to finish and you know it doesn't matter if it's bent or not it's still going to steer the same and swing the same arc um it's just to clear the uh, clearance the heim joints that way we don't uh, bottom out our heims on the steering so we do have to get these all welded in and all that good stuff um so there's that and we got that one made and right now I'm working on the rear to get the final cross member in and once both of these cross members are in obviously I just got it set up finding our angle and everything um, once we make our cross member across here and don't worry that exhaust is going away um, once we have our cross member and everything we will be able to uh, basically put this thing on its own weight so we are Getting close, we have to rebuild the axles, which will probably be this this weekend. I gotta put the other hub on and do the steering, the other steering shaft and all that stuff, which will be, I'll have to bend up a little bit just to clearance it and everything, but we should be okay. So hopefully by the end of today, we can swing everything and see how it is moving. That would be a really nice goal if I can get this stuff welded on. So I'm gonna grab some stuff to cover up the axles when I do weld. I gotta cut this out and just make sure everything's good, drill the holes, and yeah, then weld up a few bars, and we should be ready to rip. This thing is coming along quick. We're at the final few stages, and then we can see this thing roll out of here, and hopefully next week. So like I said, we will be rebuilding the axles this weekend, getting all the new bearings and everything pressed in. Uh, getting all our pinion and all that good stuff set and then basically that's pretty much it but man is that looking good i'm excited super super excited so a lot of work just trying to grind it out see this thing finished so we can get it off the paint and then you know finish up what we got to finish up so it's it's coming it's coming quick So with the axles under the truck, we got our bars made up. We got our steering link all welded up. So everything is pretty much done and we did cycle it. Obviously you can see it's up right now. We went through the suspension travel. We have basically minimal bump steer, which I'm super stoked about. Um, as far as everything goes, we are working on rebuilding the diffs right now, which you can see the carriers over there. Uh, we were supposed to finish today. Some things came up, we're not gonna be able to. So this video is kind of kind of gonna end here but basically we're almost ready to get this thing back on its own weight so we have this thing pretty much ready to rip I mean the the last thing is building the differentials putting the hubs and everything in and then getting this thing jacked up and it's looking fantastic we have everything up out of the way just to so we don't scratch anything or all that good stuff um, we did make this rear cross member for up here for this back pan hard bar so that's all in yeah, we recycled the orange bar, you know. Uh, we had more sticks, but we had this just chilling in the shop, and it was the right length. And we, we cut it off, and it's all new. So it's not anything that's bad. It's just, it's a new bar. It just was painted, because I'm an idiot, and spray paint things. Um, but yeah, so we got those bungs welded in, all the new stuff, everything on. So... Now all he's got to do is land his exhaust through that hole, which I had to cut off, and this thing will be good. We're waiting on the transfer case from Mark at Kodiak Truck, which there will be a video on that too. Um, but yeah, we're pretty much almost ready to put this thing up on its weight, so I'm pretty, pretty excited for it. It's going to be badass for sure. But that's going to do it for today, guys. As you can see, uh, if the light's not terrible. There's a badass L5P in here, so you know what that means. Uh, you guys probably won't see this, but I figured I'd give you a little tidbit on it, just a clean 18 dually. It's uh, getting some love, so we're gonna work on this thing, 
and hopefully finish up that this week get that out we got a few head gasket jobs coming in and everything but that's gonna do it for me guys i hope you enjoyed the video if you did drop a thumbs up if you think the truck's coming together great and you're super excited for it like i am make sure to hit that subscribe button and follow along with the builds and uh we'll see you guys later i'm out